Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Chow with Lao and today I'm going to show you my five top ingredients for Chinese cooking. Let's get straight into this one guys. So what we're looking at are things that give the food flavor, sauces, dry ingredients, things that I always need to have just in case. So let's get started. Number five on the chart is... So number five on my list is soy sauce. No self-respecting Chinese cook is ever gonna be without soy sauce in their kitchen. I've got the main two. I've got the light soy sauce and the dark soy sauce. I'm going to club them in together because essentially they give the same flavor but they are used quite differently. The light soy sauce is the one you're going to use for most things for when you're making stir fries, for when you're making dipping sauces and for general general use. The dark soy sauce as well as having the soy flavor is as the name implies dark so it's got a deeper coloring to it. It's slightly sweeter. It's thicker so you can add it to your dish to give that kind of deep rich color okay I always keep at least one bottle of each in the kitchen for whatever I'm using it pretty much goes into what 95% of all my Chinese cooking so it's a must it's as essential as you having salt in any given kitchen this stuff is amazing because it's not just adding saltiness it's adding that fantastic soy flavor Get some good stuff. The supermarket brands I've tried sometimes can be a little bit watery and a little bit tasteless. Go for the brands that you've heard of. I'm not sponsored, so I'm not gonna give any names away, but you know the ones I mean. They're really good. The popular ones, the ones you've heard of, they are always, always good. Number four on my list is hoisin sauce. And this is something we use for lots of different recipes. It's basically the Chinese version of barbecue sauce. It's sweet, it's unctuous, it's got that barbecue flavor. We use it in barbecue ribs, we use it for char siu roast pork, lots of different things. You can add it to stir fries to give it extra flavor. You can use it in a number of different things if you want to add that barbecue flavor. You could stick it on as a steak sauce if you wanted. Um, but yeah, it's so good, it's so versatile, and it always goes well with so many different meals. So number four on my list is hoisin sauce. Everybody come a bit closer. I know I said there's only five things on this list, but if you stick around until the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my bonus. It's my secret weapon that I use in so many different recipes. It is amazing and I think it's gonna to be totally unexpected. So stick around to the end of the video and you'll find out exactly what it is. Number three on my list is sesame oil. Again, very much associated with Far Eastern cooking. As much as olive oil is to Western cooking, I guess, it's fantastic for adding flavor to your soups, to your stir fries, especially for marinades. I always use this whenever I'm marinating meat this generally goes into it, right? It's got that sesame flavor, and it's got that kind of slightly toasted, smoky flavor. It's amazing. You only have to use a tiny amount, generally a teaspoon for any given recipe. So a little goes a long way. What you've got to watch out for, there's generally two types. This is pure sesame oil. That's the one to go for. You get these blended ones, which are normally only about 30% sesame oil, and then it's blended with other oils just to pat it out. Of course, that won't give you the flavor that this stuff will. So just look out for that and you'll be fine. So number three on my list, sesame oil. Number two on my list, garlic powder or garlic granules. They basically do the same thing. Now, this always adds a little bit of garlic wallop to whatever you're cooking. Obviously you can use fresh garlic, but this kind of turbocharges it and gives that lovely flavor. I love making, if I'm making something like a, a beef and tomato, chicken tomato, a, a chicken and pineapple, any of those sweet dishes, a little bit of garlic powder in that just gives it that extra lift. Also you can add it to marinades, you can add it to uh, just any stir fried meats or vegetables. It just gives it that garlic flavor. I'm a garlic lover. If you're not, I'm probably wasting my breath but this stuff is good so in at number two garlic powder without further ado 
number one on my list of Chinese based ingredients is black beans. Now, not to be confused with actual black beans, which are beans that are black. These are fermented soybeans. Okay, it's a big difference. People tend to get confused. If you check these out, the easy way to tell is the smell is nothing like it, it they, they smell so amazingly fragrant if you've had anything like beef and black bean chicken and black bean you'll instantly recognize the smell it hits your taste buds straight away makes your mouth water there's something about it is just so delicious and that's exactly what it is this is kind of it is a little bit of a one trick pony it makes that flavor that's what we use it for but what a flavor i mean this is this is probably one of the highlights of chinese cooking the black bean it's just amazing and if you're vegetarian it goes so well with mushrooms vegetables tofu anything like that it just works it's beautiful very easy to cook i've got a couple of recipes on my channel now if you want to have a look at them and they're all there just have a look and i'm sure you'll be able to follow my instructions so that's my number one pick guys i hope you like them too now everyone it's time for the bonus round what is my bonus ingredient Ta -da! tomato ketchup oh yes oh yes now some of you might think tomato ketchup i get that a lot but I swear this stuff I use so much in my cooking. It's something I've learned from working in Chinese takeaways. This is used in so many dishes. The obvious ones like your chicken and tomato, beef and tomato, king prawns and tomato, of course you use ketchup, but it's also used in things like crispy chili beef. It's used in things like sweet and sour sauce. It's used in things like kung bao chicken, corn bao beef, it's used so much and it just adds that little bit of sweetness, it adds that little bit of tang and all the nice little spices and things in there really lifts up all these dishes. So I always have this in my kitchen, yes for my chips of course, but also for the Chinese cooking. Trust me, I've got lots of recipes on my channel that involve using this stuff. It is amazing and it's also really accessible and really affordable so go for it guys it may be a surprise but it's my bonus item tomato ketchup right everyone so i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think of it in the comments below and if you like it i'm gonna make some more if you don't well maybe i'll make some more anyway so hopefully see you again in the next video take care guys bye bye they look like droppings taste like heaven <laughs> <laughs>